everybody, welcome back to Sim Airport and Arclight International. Uh, you might be able to tell, um, I don't know how well the, the, you'll be able to hear on the YouTube's video, but um, I have got myself a new microphone. You might have seen in the description on some of the uh, earlier videos that uh, the audio quality was bad and I was waiting for a new one. It's now arrived. It's amazing and hopefully you can notice the difference. Uh, hopefully there's less kind of background noise and that kind of thing. So we are still here. We're still building uh, Arclight International. I think we're now in the position that everything here is now lined up as it should be. And indeed it is. We've just got this little section of fence left to go. Now this is going to be our new exit. So we're going to have to do the same thing that we did before. Build a wall here. Break the fence. Build another wall. A little bit tedious, but there we go. We'll also need two extra pieces of fence there because the diagonal connection doesn't work and we don't want to invalidate our airport. So that is uh, all that there. So then down here we're going to need a uh, large sliding door to get out of well, here, I guess. Um, we'll also put down this nice fancy carpet. We'll also put it there as well when we can. And then... I guess we want to move our zones, but first we need to leave this connected, otherwise they're all going to be running down here like mad people, um, rather than using the walkways that are inside. We will also put some benches. We'll also increase our gameplay speed, so the workers actually come and do stuff. Um, we'll put some benches down in here as well. And on the outside. Uh, on the outside. Oh no, these benches can't actually be placed outdoors. Okay, well I guess they will be going in. We'll place them inside just so that people have got somewhere to sit whilst they wait for the buses to turn up. We've got 60% interest in our airline now. That's really good, actually. Let me check our schedule. How are things going? It's a little bit annoying that when you uh, restart the game, it forgets like how you have this window laid out. So you have to like re-expand it every time you relaunch the game. Right, so we have these now in place, so we can come in here, we can clear out this bit of fence. Also put down our benches. Now the walkway is going to come down here like this. It does indeed leave a space there for the bench of four. And once this uh, wall has moved, there will be space for another bunch of benches there. Uh, the wall back in like that. This is still all happy because we have kept this correctly sealed, which is lovely. Lag spike there, I'm not quite sure what that. Um, so I'm going to go to build, clear. So people are actually coming down here to use these benches, which is a little ridiculous, but whatever, we'll roll with it, that's fine. And um, we can clear that, we can also clear up these two bits of fence now, as they're no longer needed. And once they're cleared up, we can put down our uh, second bench, like that. Also put down our uh, carpet. Once this bench has been put in, we can put down this carpet. Come on, where are you? Bring the bench. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll put the bench like that. And we can finish off the final section of foundation. People have missed their flights. And that will be because there's no flight info down here. So they're coming down here to use this bench. Um because there aren't enough benches at the top end of the airport. So I think what we'll do is we will put a couple of flight info boards in here. This, in theory, should be for departures only, uh, for arrivals who are leaving the airport only. But as some people are using the benches here, we'll put this information in so that they are aware and they can run and make their flight if they need to do that. Perfect. Frame rate is really causing me problems here. I'm not quite sure what the cause of that is. That's not a frame rate, that's an autosave. That's permitted. Okay, so we now have a connected section. People are queuing up to read this flight info display. There are two of them. You don't really need to form a line, but whatever. However you want to do it. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll actually put 
Um, oh, I can't put the fence there, so that diagonal is never going to work. Okay, I guess we will have to do this the old-fashioned way. We'll build a wall extra like that. And the other problem is people might be trying to use this to get into the airport. You know, so there's a security exit here. Which it does need to be. Now, this frame rate issue, that, uh, this is uh, um, an early access game. So the frame rate issue might actually just be due to a lack of optimization in the code rather than anything specifically that I'm doing or uh, my computer in particular. But we don't really know. Uh, okay, so we'll put in this wall here. And we'll clear this out. And we'll have our nicely finished arrivals. Uh, with everything except the uh, baggage claim, which is what we will work on in a moment. There we go. Really? Alright. And then we'll clear that out, and that will leave all of the interior nicely finished and this is our arrivals gate to leave the airport so now we can move our pickups I don't really want to zoom out right now because I don't want to take in more entities than needs be all right so we're going to clear out pickups we're going to come down here now this will confuse everyone because there's now no pickups area. No one knows where they need to go. So people, you'll start seeing some speech bubbles where people are asking where pickups are. Pickups is now back in place. Like that. At the bottom of the airport, this is where pickups are. So everyone will run down here now. <laughs> Look at this. This is ridiculous. Um, they will now run down there to get to pickups. So what we're going to now do is stop this happening jesus let me dismantle the door and we're going to build a wall now this could go wrong because we could get someone trapped in this wall if they run through at the wrong time but not really much i can do about that recalculate if i click there we go i think if i click send home on them they will then redo their path and realize ah there is another door to get out of here and there we go. So now departures, uh, arrivals, should I say, get in. Basically, bugger off out of view, which is lovely. So the two things we need to now fix. We've got a restroom here so this one can go. This restroom doesn't need to be here. We're going to put a restroom down with baggage claim. I'm going to come down here. A bit quieter now. I can zoom out a bit better. Yeah, I think that's to do with the number of entities that are trying to do stuff in the airport to anything that's um, like my computer being slow or anything. Alright. I want to run two roads here, which is going to have a gap like this, and then a gap like this, and then like this. Maybe. The roads are too wide, and if you put the roads next to each other, I found a lot of traffic issues, so we're going to put the road with a gap like this, so they can't cross over. Because they, they try to cross over, and then that causes um, like confusion and traffic blocks and stuff, so we're not going to do that. We're going to build this eight out, which gives us six inside, which should be enough. I think we want to do it where I originally had it, though, which is here. Go eight out, and then we'll go, like, 16 upwards. Yeah, I think something like that, at least to begin with, for baggage claim. And then we could have the toilets uh, in this section here, for example. Yeah, I think this is good. I don't think this is going to make a difference, as I think I am already on the fastest. So there's nothing actually that I can do to even change the quality of this to uh, reduce the, the frame rate issue. But this is definitely due to the number of entities that are in our airport right now. Which is a problem since we don't actually have that many flights, and none of them are big flights. I'm not quite 
quite sure what's going on here. Everyone's trying to get into the airport. I think once this fixes, people, there we go, people should get moving. There we go. So this section confused people. We're going to add some carpet here. Everyone's going to ignore this section for now because there's no reason to be here. Let's hire a couple more janitors. Um, we should probably put some more garbage spins down as well, but we'll get on to that in a moment. So, why? Oh, right. This can't go against the wall here, but it can go here. This one can, can go here, this one can go here, and this one can go here. I think that that will be plenty for the time being. They do have slightly a uh, awkward access in that they're all here, but I don't think that's what we can do is we can run our conveyor line down like this down to here and we'll just go across to each of the uh, that's a problem yeah no okay so we can't do this okay dismantle 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 we can't put the conveyor lines through these which i thought we'd be able to but so we will have to do our baggage carousels uh, this way. I can put one there like that, and one there, there like that, but then they'll be inaccessible. Oh, uh, I guess not if we put one there. Yeah, because one won't fit there anyway. So we'll do it like that. Those will be our baggage carousels like that. That feels better to me. And then our conveyor line, we can run one down here like this. one here like this. I have no idea if this will connect properly. I, I, I honestly have no idea if that will work like I want it to work, but we'll leave it as it's for now, and then we'll run it up to the top of the runway. Run it in the space between, like that, rather than under the runway itself, and that will then uh, complete our baggage routing station, and we will no longer have... Um, a little golf cart trying to do the baggage drops off. We can mark this zone as baggage claim. And then up here, we can remove the existing baggage claim, which is very, very broken. There we go, so we get rid of that. And now baggage claim is way down here. Like this. Nice and tucked away. I might actually, uh, just for aesthetics, get rid of that need it. And then under planning, we'll get rid of this strip of road. We don't need it. Okay, perfect. So we now have baggage claim and everything's come onto this carousel. Which isn't quite what I had in mind. Um, yeah, I wondered if this would work. So I think what we have to do... Oh no, now, now they all went onto that. Oh no, I think they are splitting. I think what I'll do to make sure, I will run the conveyors like this. And then I will demolish these conveyors here. No, no I won't. Uh, oh god damn it. I don't think I can stop the demolish. What we'll do is we'll demolish those. Now things are broken, but if we do it like uh, this, like this, like this, go to build, that would be a good start, and we'll demolish this like this. So where this will work, because they'll come down, like onto this bag, uh, onto this carousel first, then onto this carousel, then onto this carousel, and then onto this carousel. I think that works better. There are a couple of people who are waiting for bags, because they can't be rooted anywhere, might now turn up, or well, they might have despawned. So now it will come down, it will go onto this belt first, then this belt, then this belt, and then this belt if necessary. That's the way that should now work. And we now have a completed baggage zone. Which is lovely. Wow, that's a lot of people. Oh, they're all going, they're all going down here for benches. I should have up here. Let's do that. Let's just have like a room full of benches. To try and stop people from doing that stupid pathfinder mechanic. Because they want to sit down before they do anything. They don't, they don't want to arrive and go straight into ticketing. Some of them want to sit. Wow, well, that lag. Um, all the gamers not happy. 
All the game is really not happy. We okay? Wow, this this frame rate is a real problem. They decided not to destroy the walls for once. I'm, I'm grateful, but that's bizarre. I, but you broke that one. What really? Unnecessary. And then we want um, just a couple of large sliding door uh, objects, uh, sliding doors. Wait for the frame rate to tank. Put a couple of doors in here, um, and then we will put in a whole bunch of benches. And these don't align properly, which is kind of a pain. We do. That's what. That's two. That's two. do that, which gives people some benches to sit on. Uh, we will also put down a, uh, a few flight info boards. Say one here, one here, and one here. I'll also put down just a couple of vending machines. So we'll put down no, vending machines. Vending machines, thank you. Put down a couple of uh, food one. This one, we will dismantle this one. Get an electronics vending machine here and here. And then we'll put a flight info display board uh, here, here, here. And then one more vending machine, one more vending machine. Actually, in that spot right there. So, thanks. Dismantle that. And cancel that. Got to put food vending, food vending machine there. The flight info board. Oh, this frame rate is tanking. Uh, there, like that. Then we'll do this and this. And hope that the queues kind of themselves out for people looking at flights. Okay, so it's just a kind of chill zone. Um, put down some nice carpet in here. Give people a bit of a place to relax. Just sit down, put your feet up for 10 minutes before you fly off. Now this is something that needs to be fixed in the Pathfinder mechanic. If I can get to the point. Here we go. So this queue is forming to read these boards. It just it, it, this this doesn't work. I mean, I think it works. I think they can actually read it from there. So we have got two cues going at once, which kind of works in my favour. But I feel like it should I feel like that's the thing that shouldn't happen. Okay, plenty of people getting off these planes. I mean, these flights are, as far as I'm aware, yeah, we're having no problems with them. They're absolutely fine, which is perfect. So. We have now finished our arrivals. I would, I'm, I'm confident enough to say that arrivals is now complete with the pickups. Um, obviously, when we get onto the fact that we have two lanes, um, building, um, then we might run into some more problems. Let's go ahead and research that. Why not? Um, then we might run into some more problems as well. We will run into some problems because we'll be running a second lane that we'll need to move. Uh, that we'll need to move some of the drop-offs and the deliveries and things. But for now, arrivals is complete. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, this has been ArcLight. I'm just watching our passenger satisfaction tank here. Quite sure why. 
needs bladder, needs hunger, needs rest. So I think we're definitely going to need like a breakout area with some benches and a cafe soon. But uh, that's all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I've been Arclight. This has been Arclight International. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.